Whoa. Whoa. Oh, 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 yeah. Mama. So here I am. It's uh, the first day of spring. And this is a great time of year to fish out here. I'm in San Diego. I'm going to be going after rock fish. Oh, we're on. Oh, it's a nice sized fish. Yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's nice. That's a chili pepper. That's a chili pepper. Hey, gang. This is Yanni from Inside the Fisherman's Belly, and today we have something very special. Rockfish season just opened up a couple of weeks ago. I finally had a chance to get out with my buddies two days ago. We found a nice little hole. We stayed on it for a couple of hours and we pulled ourselves up. Uh, our limits of chili peppers, vermilions, chuckleheads, tons of fish. Nice one again. Nice. Oh, yeah, nice one. Yeah. Whoa. And if you find a productive hole, you're going to bring home fish. And bring home fish we did. I weighed this guy out. This guy is two pounds. It's a vermilion. I've gutted it. I've scaled it. I'm going to bake it whole and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it. And cooking a fish whole is always a smart thing to do because you're cooking a fish with its bones. And the bones during the cooking process are giving off moisture and flavor and giving that fish an unbelievable taste. So trust me, I need you guys to start eating your fish whole and I'm going to show you a simple way to do it in the oven. So, right now I've got my oven set at 375 and it's been preheating for about 20 minutes. Along with the fish, I'm going to be roasting vegetables. I'm going to be roasting potatoes, um, russets and sweet potatoes. I've got bell peppers, green, red and yellow. I've got my onions and of course I've got lemon, I've got some garlic, can't live without garlic. Um, my herb is going to be dry oregano, can't live without that. And on top of that all, I'm going to splash the fish near the end of the cooking process with a wonderful Chardonnay that I got at Trader Joe's. I found out that they're carrying this. This is from Purley, California. It's just south of Fresno. And this is a hundred percent barrel fermented Chardonnay. If you can get your hands on a barrel fermented Chardonnay, you're in there. Whenever they ferment that wine in a barrel, what happens is this. Oxygen, it's not that the barrel imparts a flavor. It's, it's just that oxygen gets to permeate that barrel and continually feeds that yeast. And that yeast, throughout that fermentation process, because of that little boost of oxygen that it's constantly getting, is constantly pumping it up with flavors. You get a well-rounded, full-bodied Chardonnay that's got some wonderful caramel notes that is especially good with our rockfish, believe me. And here's what we're gonna do with our wine. We'll be splashing our, our wine on top of that fish while it's roasting in the oven, and of course, after the fish is over with, we're gonna be drinking that wine and enjoying it. And remember, Whenever you're cooking with wine, you want to use a wine that you'll be drinking. And you're going to love this wine. It's available at Trader Joe's. Run and go and get this wine. I believe it was only $5.99. Trust me, that's a steal and a half. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to prep this fish. And after we prep this fish, we're going to put it in the refrigerator for about an hour. At the same time, we're going to cut up our vegetables and let them cook in the oven for approximately 45 minutes. Now, here's the pan that I'll be cooking my vegetables and ultimately my fish in. Notice I've got a lid. Now, if you don't have a pan similar to this, or, and keep in mind, this is a, about a two pound fish. This will feed three or four people. There's three of us tonight, so we'll get some extra fish. But if you don't have a pan with a lid on it, use a pan approximately this size and get some tin foil and cover it. It's gonna go in your oven at 375 for about 45 minutes. After that process is over with, then we're going to put our fish on top of that and cook it for another 20-25 minutes and the whole thing will be done. So just follow me and you're going to learn how to do this and you're going to love it. Trust me. Okay, like I said, this has been scaled and it's been gutted and gilled. It's prepped. It's all ready to go. What I've got to do now is put two slits in it 
on each side of the body. Okay, so I've got two slits on each side of the body. I'm gonna introduce some lemon wedges on each side. That's simple enough right there. All right, so I'm gonna salt and pepper the fish. Remember the golden rule, never put salt on the skin of a fish. So. Now here's our olive oil. Oh, I like that. And of course a little olive oil inside the cavity. Alright, so there we have it. This guy is ready to be set inside the refrigerator for about an hour. Then we're going to start working on our vegetables and we're getting one step closer to eating. I'm going to wash my hands here. Alright, it's time to start prepping our vegetables. So I'm going to leave the, the uh, skins on the potatoes on. This is a very rustic uh, Greek and Italian dish. They would never dream of sitting there and peeling the potatoes. I'm cutting them up into quarter inch thickness uh, slices. Now for our sweet potato. Here's our sweet potatoes. Here's our barrel peppers, same way. There's our red peppers. I can't emphasize enough how important it is to have a sharp, sharp chef's knife. And you gotta have the right tool for the right job. Finally, our yellow pepper. Doesn't that look great? Look at that. Perfect. Okay, now we need some slices of onion. And there goes our onion. Smash up a little garlic. We're going to dice the garlic up nice and fine. Lemon juice. I'm using my hand to catch the seeds. Hmm. And now I've got a mystery ingredient I forgot to tell you guys about. And that is I have one cup of chicken stock that's going to go in here. And that's going to, while these guys are roasting in the oven with the lid on, that's going to actually steam all these vegetables for the first 45 minutes. Then when I put the fish on top, and finish cooking it in the oven, the lid's going to come off and all that, those vegetables are going to caramelize because all that steam's going to escape and it's going to get a nice brown, chewy uh, texture and color to them. It'll, believe me, it's going to be awesome. All right, now for some salt and pepper. And some olive oil. This is so simple to do, it's insane. And now, we're gonna use the greatest tools of all, and that is our hands. Oh, one more thing, I've got some oregano. Now I've taken this oregano and with my fingers and I've crushed it before I put it in this bowl. You always wanna do that, do that with oregano. First of all, you don't want big chunks of oregano in your food. And second of all, when you crush it with your fingers, you're actually starting to initiate those oils and warm up that oregano and let the oil start to come out of the oregano just to start the whole process off. So crushing oregano's in your finger is a big must. All right, so here we go. Using my hands, I'm tossing all this around. So I've got my sweet potatoes, I've got onions, I've got three types of bell peppers. Wow, look at all this. 
This is almost ready for the oven. The last step is to put one cup of chicken stock. The way I created my chicken stock, I've got a dry chicken stock powder. I took a cup of water, I heated it up on the stove, almost brought it to a boil. I added a tablespoon of dry chicken stock powder, whisked it together, and now I'm gonna pour it in here. Hold on, there we go. Okay, here's our lid. And off into the oven it goes. So my oven's been preheating for about a half hour at 375. This will go in there for exactly 45 minutes. I'm gonna take it out, put the fish on top, let it roast for a grand total of 20, 25 minutes. However, five, 10 minutes before it's done, I'm gonna splash some of that wonderful Chardonnay. Okay, it's time to open up this oven door and get my vegetables out of there. And I know that for two reasons. Number one, it's been 45 minutes and I can still tell time. But number two, I can smell everything coming out of this oven. It's just incredible. Whenever you're cooking something in the oven, whether it's bread or a pie or vegetables or even a fish dish, and you can start to smell it, man, you know it's done. So let's open this puppy up and take a look. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Well, the first thing I've got to do is I'm going to crank up my oven to four and a quarter to finish the fish off. Yeah, the potatoes are tender, everything's tender. There's still a little moisture on the bottom. That's gonna evaporate in the final cooking process. So we're gonna put our fish on top of here. We're gonna put it back in the oven without the lid on. And remember when I told you about that golden rule of never putting salt on the skins on the skin of the fish? And here's the reason why. Whenever you put salt on anything, especially a fish or its skin, moisture is gonna be driven out of that, that skin. And that moisture will prevent that skin from crisping up and we definitely want a crunchy, crispy, tasty skin on that fish. Wow, just like that. We've got it set at 425. We're checking the time. It's gonna be a grand total of 25 minutes. So, but 15 minutes into it, I'm gonna pull it out and put that wonderful Chardonnay, that Pacific Grove Chardonnay and splash it all over there as a final basting. And we'll be in heaven. We're just one step closer, believe me. It's time to, believe it or not, splash some of this wine on top of this fish. Perfect timing. Oh. Wow, take a look at that. Okay, here we go. That's all you need. All right, back in the oven for another 10 minutes and we'll be done. Wow. Oh my God, it smells so good in this kitchen right now. Unbelievable. Take a look. Wow. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Unbelievable. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. Here's the vegetables. There's the fish. Here's some parsley. We are ready to eat. Check that out, unbelievable. This is Yanni from Inside the Fisherman's Belly wishing you guys good luck with your raw fish and good luck with your cooking. Like I said, it's the first day of spring. This is an awesome day, awesome.